Move the dinosaur. This. Okay. So ready. Okay. Hey guys, it's Hayden from the Vivid City. I'm going to be showing you this mini Animal Planet Dinosaur 2 from 2019. So I hope you guys enjoy. Before we get started, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you guys know when I make a brand new video. Yeah, let's get started. So here's the lid. It's really cool. It's a T-Rex head. And before we open the lid, I'm going to read some stuff on the, on the tube. So, um, Animal Planet Dinosaur 2, 3 plus, 1 set. Um, warning, choking hazard. Small parts, not for children under three years old. Mm, not that much other stuff. Um, we got the price there and stuff. So yeah, let's open the the two. So of course we start off with the red T-Rex head. It's really cool. It looks awfully like the the um the the Adventure Force Tyrannosaurus Rex that I showed you in like a video like two weeks ago. I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, well, I'm pretty sure. I'm not so sure. But yeah, let's get started. So first off, we have three plants. Like, just three regular old boring plants. So, yeah, that was the first thing. That was really fast. Okay, but, well, yeah, for real this time, first dinosaur, we have an Ankylosaurus. Now, this is a really cute dinosaur. I like the little, like, like white on the top of its um spikes because that's not how it usually is. But they changed it. I really like it. So, yeah, that was our first dinosaur. Next, we've got a Dimetrodon. Um, this is, this is, this is not a Spinosaurus, if you guys are thinking, it's not. Um, well, I'm just saying, if you're, like, really, really long, like, young, like, two or three years old, and if you don't know what dinosaurs these are, and if you only know, like, Spinosaurus and T-Rex, this is not a Spinosaurus, it might look like it because it has a spine, but that's pretty much it, because this dinosaur is on four legs, doesn't have a long snout. I really like the green, though. This dinosaur is really good. Take a good look at it. There you go. And get a good look at the Ankylosaurus. There we go. Next dinosaur, we have a Diplodocus. Now, when it's a Diplodocus, you can actually definitely tell. Like, if you don't know when you see a Diplodocus, if you see its head turn, like, back, like, all the way back, like this dinosaur has it, um, then I'm pretty sure it's a Diplodocus. Because it is not a Brachiosaurus, because it is a different Brachiosaurus in this set. So, yeah, really cool. Another green dinosaur. Lots of green dinosaurs in these sets. And also, like, a few duplicates, but that's fine. Next, we have a regular plain green um, um, Pachycephalosaurus. Get a good look at that. It, it's a, these dinosaurs are really small and really actually, like, good looking. They're, they're not the best, best mini dinosaurs I've ever seen. But they're re actually really close for some reason. If you guys don't like these dinosaurs, then that's fine. But I just think these dinosaurs just look awesome. So, yeah, next we've got a... Oh, um, I'm not sure what this dinosaur is called because there's a lot of this dinosaur that is like the same species and stuff. And I, I keep on calling it like a Corinthodon by accident, by accident sometimes. I call it a Parasaurolophus, but I know it's not. Mm, yeah, I really like the, the really dark red on the top and then like the like the shiny, like what color is that actually? Like, like really, really dark green mixed with black or something. It's kind of shiny in the camera, but... Oh, no, it is kind of shiny. I was going to say it is kind of shiny in the camera, but it's not shiny outside. It actually pretty is. Pretty much is. Yeah, no one of the dinosaurs is pretty that shiny. That's shiny. Oh, wait. I forgot. Uh, I think I already did that. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if I already did that, but... Oh, this one is the one that I forgot. Okay. Next, we have a Styracosaurus. Really like the white here, because that's pretty much the only color here, except for the white, because it's it's like it's like gray gray mixed with black on the top, and and then you got and then you got like regular gray on the top on the bottom. Excuse me, on the bottom, I mean, and then on, just on the front, you got a regular white. Now. On some of these dinosaurs, the eyes are not colored, if you guys see on this dinosaur. Come on, camera focus a little bit. Um, which other ones? Oh, uh, I don't think any of them have eyes, actually. Well, I mean, they do have eyes, but they just don't have... <coughs> they just 
don't have like they have eyes but they just don't have like the coloration in the eyes like like this guy if you guys can see there's there's only like a little dot there oh here here's a better example here like on the top yeah so yeah next we have a parasaurolophus now this one is one of my favorites because it has different colors to it so here you you have just regular like dark blue mixed with green or something i'm not sure and but then on the top you got that like that like protection thing um like and it's red it's really cool again no eyes on these there's no eyes on there is eyes on these dinosaurs sorry i keep on messing up there is eyes on these dinosaurs it's just like not like like you like there's no coloration in them okay next we've got a um stegosaurus our first stegosaurus in the set actually i didn't think we we're gonna have more dinosaurs that i haven't showed you since the beginning but yeah it's actually pretty good so far not that we actually had no duplicates yet but trust me there is duplicates so yeah here we have a nice orange orange plates on the top and then here you have um like the nice dark dark greenish bluish again on these dinosaurs you get a lot of green and dark colors on these dinosaurs these dinosaurs are kind of like earthy colors if you guys know what i mean like the papo mini dinosaurs i haven't i don't have the papo mini dinosaurs i just i just i see them on youtube videos since i love watching dinosaur videos I think that's my favorite. And I don't think I'm going to be playing any Fortnite um, to show you guys. I know playing video games does help you, help you get a lot of views. But I actually might might start a game. I actually might start like doing gaming videos. But that means I'll be doing vlogs, everything land episodes, um, regular showing toys videos and stuff like that. And, and like... And then I'm going to be, like, doing gaming stuff. And that that's actually going to be pretty cool. Because I, I, I just remembered, I don't have to be just playing Fortnite. I know pop, Fortnite is, like, really popular. But I can be playing, like, the Jurassic World game. I just need to learn how to edit. So then I really, like, can, like, put my head in those little squares that, like, like in the top in the top left of the camera, I'm putting a square there. I'm pretty sure you guys see. In the top left um, or right, whichever way you're facing. Yep, if you guys are fake Yep, in the top right of you guys. I'm pretty sure it's right for you guys, but it's left for me. Um on the top right for you guys. Um I'm putting like a little square. You know how people put like squares there and then like they put the whole screen of like Fortnite or dinosaur gaming or whatever or they just don't put their face at all and stuff like that. Like if they do that, then and then yeah, I'm gonna need how to. I'm gonna need to learn how to edit more better. Cause my first three videos, um, I learned how. To, um, that was actually not me. Um, my brother edited those videos. But then I just got lazy. Cause he he's usually like going out with friends and stuff, and 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 like like going on dates with his girlfriend and stuff, and like going to not really parties, but he but he like does a lot of stuff. He goes play basketball and stuff. He does like that. And I and I can't just not ask. For his camera so i just use my ipad it's not that great because it's a little harder to use because i don't know no a camera's harder to use but but the camera's like easier to hold and stuff because here uh, it's literally my camera's kind of heavy and and when i'm doing everything land episodes the, the, that's why i keep it in just in one spot because you know how super bowser logan and all that stuff they have like a little camera but it's pretty easy because then the camera's light and they also have more characters, which I might, which I'm pretty sure you guys saw in my 20 minute vlog. I asked my brother if he can be in an everything land episode with me. But yeah, just maybe one day he will, you know, <laughs> because he said he will when he come, when he comes back from this place that he's going to get back from. I forgot the name, but that's okay. Oh, and great. <laughs> our first duplicate. Well, at least it wasn't our last one, <laughs> you know kind of worried because I see a Styracosaurus right there. <laughs> so yeah, here's another Diplodocus. Not that much to talk about again. The, the tail backwards and the head backwards and stuff. So yeah, next we have a um, Brachiosaurus. Now this one is actually one of my favorites because we just see regular old dark colors, but then baboosh! You see that beautiful colored top. It's blue and blue is my absolute 
favorite color in the entire world. Now, first, for some reason, I don't know, but it was brown. Then I started making it reason reasonable when it was when he when when it was green. But now it's blue, and I think I'm staying with that because like I changed my favorite colors because I have different like like I like different colors, and I'm not that type of person who likes have who has like a lot of favorite colors. I like having one. But I love a lot of colors. I just like having one. I'm not that person who just like can like a every single color as their favorite. No, I, I like or like five colors or like three colors or like even two colors I don't like. I just like having one favorite color and then like I change it once a year or something. Uh, it's like a tradition I do. Tradition, change of a favorite color a single year. Um, no, that's not what I do either. Um, I just, I just, I'm sticking with blue for now. I'm not, I'm not sure if, if I change what's going to be next, but you guys will know one day when I do it. Maybe I'm not saying um that that will be true because I'm really not sure if I will change my favorite color because blue is actually a really awesome color and also green is because I have a lot of green stuffed animals like this um huge alligator I can't I, I'm trying I'm trying not to like put it so close because I don't want to knock down the mini dinosaurs but I, I guess I'll just show you him the head I showed you that in a long video like a really long time ago and stuff yeah. Um, here it is. Next. Right, that, that was the Brachiosaurus I was talking about, actually. Oh. Good look at it. Okay, next. We've got, finally, the king of the dinosaurs. You got Tyrannosaurus Rex. Nice, like, like skin-colored. When I say skin-colored, I mean, like, a peach color. That's a nice, like, cute little peach color, right, guys? See, so, yeah, let's put the T-Rex. Let's get, let you see, guys. Okay, now let's put the Tyrannosaurus Rex down. And next we've got another Tyrannosaurus good, because the last two dinosaurs are not duplicates, so that's going to be a good thing. So yeah, here another Tyrannosaurus again. Not that really many changes to it. That would have been cool if they put changes to it, but they didn't, and I'm fine with it, because they're still, you got really cool dinosaurs. So next we've got a Velociraptor. Um, our first carnivore in a long time, even though I just showed you... Um, this, but there's more herbivores in this set than there are, cause you got the Parasaurus, the Diplodocus, and I forgot this guy, but you got the Stegosaurus and stuff. And the only mm, meat-eating dinosaurs is just the T-Rex. Um, no Tyrannodon, no Spinosaurus for some reason, but the T-Rex and the Velociraptor, I guess. See so a really cute dinosaur. Love the stripes. Love the uh, also another like peach color. This one is I think which one do you think is closer to my skin? This one or this one? I think this one is more closer to my skin for some reason. But comment down below which one do you think is closer to my skin? See I hear really cool. It doesn't look like um 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 a velociraptor, but I guess it is. Cause you see that toe right there. <laughs> And last but not least, we have a Triceratops. I'm glad we're ending it with a popular dinosaur, even though most of these dinosaurs here are popular. But this dinosaur is not really that popular. Um, neither is this guy, but the rest are pretty much like really popular dinosaurs. So, so yeah, really cool. Love the yellow on the top. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, yo, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.